as I promised you guys, I will show you the correct way on how you can fill in the CFO registration form without making any mistake. Kasi guys, once na naipasa na natin yan, and late mo na na-realize na mali pala yung spelling ng pangalan mo, na pangalan ng petitioners mo, ganyan, some details, hindi na po natin pwedeng ma-edit pa. Unless po, pupuntakin nyo po yung CFO office for the correction. So, para maiwasan natin yan, if you are planning to book your appointment soon, magta-travel ka and you need CFO certificate, then keep watching this video. Dito na tayo guys sa CFO online registration. So, ito yung kailangan natin fill upan. So, last name, of course, this is not my real personal information. This is just for the reference of this blog. Your middle name. My middle name is Delavin. Dahil wala ako guys, suffix so name. So, I will just go in to leave it blank. Sex, of course, female, birth of date. So, I am 30 years old, province, Katanduanas, town, city, Virak. Okay. Bakit wala daw? Okay. Virak. Civil status. Ito guys yung mga pagpipilian. Annulled. Live-in. No response. Separated. Divorce. Single. Never married. Still legally married. Widow, widower. Explain ko to sa inyo guys. So, annulled means you have valid document na talagang annulled na kayo. Live in, this is what we call common law partner. Nagsasama kayo but without marriage. No response, so you don't want to disclose kung ano yung relationship nyo. Separated, divorce, of course guys, this is with documents. Yung separated, may tinatawag tayong legally separation or legal separation paper and divorce paper. So, kung wala kayo nito guys, huwag kayong huwag nyo tong pipiliin. Kasi sabi nyo, matagal na kaming hiwalay ng asawa ko, 15 years na, but still you don't, you are not annulled, you are not divorced. So, don't choose this. Single, never married. So, dito kayo guys, still legally married. Ito po yung applicable sa mga Filipina na Matagal na pong hiwalay sa asawa but cannot afford annulment but they want to apply for CFO certificate po dito po kayo. Kasi kahit hiwalay na po kayo, without any annulment paper po, still consider pa rin kayo as legally married. So, widow and widower, kung yung isang partner nyo po, yung previous partner nyo is alam nyo na guys, hindi na po nabubuhay. Ayun, and me... Single and never married. Ayan. Birth order, pang ilan ka sa mga magkakapatid. So, I am the middle. And dito po sa religion, dalawa lang. Catholic and non-Catholic. Wala pong Catholic, Muslims, Buddhism, wala. So, kung Muslim ka po, so non-Catholic yung pipiliin mo. Number of siblings, ilan kayo magkakapatid. So, we are three. And your occupation in the last six months. Sa pagpipilian, guys, wala dito yung self-employed, wala din po yung word na unemployed, and wala din po yung word na freelancer na mostly ginagamit natin. You need to be specific kung ano talaga yung ginagawa mo. So, ayan, napakahaba ng list. So, ako, guys, manguhula na lang ako. So, I am a dancer and, <laughs> yan, yun na lang ang aking occupation and education Siyempre, ka-college graduate natin. And specify your education. Ayan. So, ayan, di ba dancer tapos accounting? But by the way, guys, this is just for your reference. Kasi kung pipili, ipapakita ko sa inyo lahat, magtatagal po tayo. Abotin tayo ng siyam-siyam po. So, house number, block 14, lot, oh, lot 13, Lot 11, Villas, 
malagasang. Malagasang. Ayun. And province is, of course, Catanduanes. Ayan. And city, municipality, Virac. Ito po siya. And, and zip code for 800. And telephone number, guys, pag wala po kayong telephone number, just put here 0000. Kasi po, pag nilive it blank nyo po yan, mag error po ang inyong form. So, kung wala po kayong information, pag letters po ang hinihingi, like pangalan, leave it blank. Pero pag number po, you need to put 000. And your email address. And nearest relative name, contact, and address in the Philippines. So, kanino ka ba malapit? But make sure guys, ang ilalagay nyo po dito is yung tao na always there for you in case of emergency or kung ano pa man pong concern. Ayun, wag po kayo dito maglalagay na for example, relatives ni nga po pero hindi naman siya guys active to be there for you. Ayan, so last name, mostly ang nilalagay dito is the parent. Name of the parent. So, Pin. First name niya is Daisy. Middle name is Ayan, bagad yung. And number of Ayan, ipaparehas ko na lang siya guys sa akin para hindi na ako mag-isip. And province is Catanduanes. The same lang din guys, Virac. And zip code and telephone number, wala din po siya. Relationship is um, parents. And telephone number, wala. Kasi mostly, di ba, cell number ang meron, cell phone number. Guys, yung telephone number, magkaiba po yan sa cell phone number. So, yung telephone number, wag po natin dyan ilalagay yung cell phone number natin, which is my code na plus 63099, ganyan. Dito po yun nilalagay. Ayan. And email address. Mm -hmm. Ayan po. Ayan, so lagi ako guys dito na mamali kasi yung keyboard ko pang German siya. So magkaiba sila. <laughs> and children from present partner. So kung meron kayong anak sa present partner mo, Lagay mo po dito, complete name, sex, and birth date. And kung hindi lang po isa yung anak mo sa current partner, you can click add. Ayun, hanggang po makompleto nyo po yung pangalan ng anak nyo dito. Ma-declare nyo po sa CFO. And for example naman po, di ba separated ka sa husband mo before and you have children's together, then you need to put also the name of your children's here. Ayan, so diba parang hindi na tayo makakapagsinungaling or ma makakapag-hide ng ating civil status pagdating po sa CFO. So before guys, during my time, wala pa pong gantong question sa registration form. And this time po, binago na po nila. Ito na po yung latest. Kasi siguro... Na ano ng CFO that some Filipina are lying. They are not declaring that they are married or they have children po sa isang, sa previous partner nila kasi sa takot na baka hindi sila mabigyan ng CFO certificate. But sad to say guys, we don't have any choice but to declare kasi hinahanapan din po tayo sometimes ng senomar ng ating mga counselor. And ito na po, petitioners, information, fiancés, and spouse. So, may nagtatanong po sa akin, sabi sa akin, Miss, hindi pa naman po ako pinipetition ng aking partner. Magbibisit lang po ako, and ayun, uwi po ako sa Pilipinas. So, hindi po ako 
wala po akong petitioner. Guys, pag sinabi natin petitioners, this is the one who invited you. Regardless po if you are holding tourist visa, visit visa, spouse visa, basta po, ayun na po yung general term petitioner's information or petitioner po yung tawag sa kanila. And dito naman, fiancés and spouse, miss mag-boyfriend, mag ano pa lang po kami, mag-girlfriend. So guys, it doesn't matter kasi wala ditong nakalagay. So petitioner's data na tayo guys ah. So last name is Smith. First name is, for example, Mark. Ayan. And middle name is mm, Graf. Ayan. Guys, ang mga foreigner mostly wala silang middle name. Lalo na guys, yung mga European as in wala talaga silang nilalagay or dinideclared sa kanilang birth certificate or sa passport na middle name. Sa Pilipinas is uso yun, di ba? Lahat tayo may middle name. But sa ibang country, wala po. But itong CFO certificate, guys, mandatory talaga siya. Nalalagyan nyo siya ng middle name dito. Once na hindi nyo po yan nilagyan kasi wala naman talaga sila, error po ang lalabas, and mostly dito sa middle name, di ba? Apelyedo po yan ng nanay niya sa pagkadalaga. And, and date of birth? And also, age 29, mas matanda ako ng isang taon. And male? Birthplace. Okay. Ano pang maganda dito? Nationality. Ayan. So, Germany. <laughs> And ito guys, mother's maiden name. Pag sinabi natin maiden name, yung pangalan po ng mother niya sa pagkadalaga nung hindi pa po kasal. So, for example lang is um, Anna Peterson Graf. Ayan po. Ayan. Guys, kailangan po ma-take note nyo na itong mga information na to, Kasi once na nakapag-umpisa na po kayo mag-fill in, mahirap na po siya ihang. Kasi may mga question po dito na inahanap ang CFO which is hindi natin ma-imagine. Nahahanapin pala like the mother's name of the petitioners and maiden name talaga. Kailangan po natin ihanda. Kaya nga guys, ginawa ko itong vlog na to kasi may nag-raise sa akin na ang concern. Miss Hazel, I cannot proceed longer kasi after ko po mag-fill in, kailangan pala ng ganong information and I need to contact my partner for that and it takes one day for him to respond. So, anong nangyari po? Error na po yung kanyang registration for and petitioner's address. Am country Germany and zip code and telephone number and scanning cell number and email address. And petitioners additional data German. I am po. Yes. If citizenship is acquired by naturalization state previous citizenship, of course. Germany. I am. And occupation. Sabi ko nga guys, wala dito freelancer and employed. Ayan. So, you need to be specific. Mag-iisip talaga. So, civil status, guys, the same. Annulled, live-in, unwed. No response, separated, divorced. Single, never married. Still legally married. Widow, 
widower. So, ayan, para hindi na guys mahirapan, single. And for example naman guys, kapag divorce ang nilagay ninyo, tanungin po kung ilang beses na siya na divorce. Kung isang beses lang ba o dalawang beses. May mga foreigner kasi guys na divorce na three times, four times, pang lima ka na pala. Ganon. So, inihingi siya ng CFO. And number of children from previous relationships. So, for example, meron siyang dalawang anak sa dati niyang karelasyon. And, ayan, religion and also education. Ayan. And after, guys, proofread po. And check if all information that you have entered are correct. And guys, para may iwasan natin yung, ay, mali yung spelling ko, mali yung ano, yung ganito. Ayan, may iwasan natin yan, guys. Ayan. So, invalid daw yung aking email address kasi ito dapat isang point lang. Ayan. 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 Ito din daw, invalid daw yung email address kasi basta ko lang siya, guys. Type, but I know, but I know in your case you will type it according to your email address. The pinakalites na siya for registration form at meron sila mga additional information na dinagdag dito. So itik note nyo na po kung alin pa dito yung mga information na hindi nyo alam. Um, bago po kayo makapagsagot dito, makapagumpisa, meron na po kayong hawak na information. Double check your CFO registration form kasi ulitin ko, once you click save, hindi na po siya editable. Maliwanag guys sa So I hope guys natulungan ulit kayo ng vlog na to, di ba? Effort na effort talaga si Akesh para ma-guide kayo ng maayos. And that is for today's vlog. I hope may natutunan ulit kayo guys. If you need further assistance when it comes to CFO appointment booking, visa application, kindly email me in this email address and if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe po kayo sa aking YouTube channel para ma-notify kayo if I have new videos about immigration documentation, visa application, and if you need further assistance booking your travel health insurance, also guys, you can email me. If you have further inquiries or questions, write your comments below. Guys, thank you so much and see you in my next vlog.